Hi, and welcome back. So this video is going to be about my glitter boot is what I'm going to call it because I loved this tool look that I found. And the immediately when I saw this, I knew that I wanted to do some kind of leather look with it. But when I saw this vintage color of glitter from peachy olive glitters i knew that this was going to be kind of that brownish leather and it was also going to bring us a fancy way um about this tumbler and so i just you know absolutely love the and adore this type of tumbler I, I i love boots and um i used to have a pair and i got ruined in the flood but anyways um i really need to get a new pair but this um, happy accident that we had on the front here, I'm going to go over that as well. And um, all in all, this is really one of my kind of near and dear to my heart. So I'm so excited that I uh, have it still. Um, but uh, anyways, I'm very excited about this one. And I can't wait for you guys to see all of the steps and see how this beauty came to be. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the first day of our seven day series of the rodeo themed tumblers. Now this one here is a 20 ounce just hog you know straight and I took it outside spray painted it this brown color because what I really was trying to emulate here was a boot. The style the uh, the the wrap that I put on it on this eventually um, it kind of gave me that vibe of like leather like tool leather that kind of thing so I picked vintage out from peachy olive glitters it is a stunning color and I didn't I wanted just a you know kind of a rustic kind of feel and look to it so I put that brown on there thinking that it was going to give me that a little bit of a deeper look from the back end and then I had the vintage which is just stunning and so I thought it kind of had that leathery you know feel to it so this is why I chose to put the base on for this uh, tumbler like this in this style I guess I should say with this the brown and then that vintage which um, is it has that gold and kind of rose gold feel but I think putting that brown really brought out that kind of leathery feel to it. So obviously I did the epoxy method with that. I put epoxy on there just a little bit and then I doused it in the vintage. Then I let that cure for several hours and then I went in with a coat of epoxy. I went in with two coats because I did this coat and then I did a little bit of sanding, made sure that it was, uh, you know, okay or whatever and then I put the the clear just a really good nice coat on there because the wrap that we're going to do is going to be completely transparent uh, except for like the black but I mean it is all transparent so um, I really wanted to make sure that we had a clear you know base to put this on because I know I've said this many times I know a lot of people have said this but if if it's a clear base of water slide or this transparent you know vinyl we are going to be seeing everything underneath so you really want it to have this really beautiful clear finish so um, always just make sure that you have a really good coat before you do something along these lines or water slide and that kind of thing now I am cutting these sides off because <laughs> if anybody remembers my pizza fumble I am like now it's like that's a that's a must for me as I cut all those clear you know all those little edges off uh, especially with these clear ones but anyways so I took um I didn't really it there was really no um you know rhyme there wasn't like a a geometrical you know way to look at this design it was just you know a free-for-all so I didn't necessarily make a line or anything to to start off with I just kind of was like this is just going to go on here and it's going to go on there the way it is going to go on there um so I didn't pull out my tools or anything like that to make it straight I just kind of eyeballed it there and uh put it on there and uh, but as soon as I got this this uh, design I immediately it was like immediately it, it went to like a boot or some kind of tooled leather and I knew that this is kind of what I wanted to do with it and I really thought that this 
kind of golden brownie kind of base was really going to show um, really nicely on, you know, with this style, I thought. And it's going to also really go really well with like that Western kind of Southern style, rustic style that I'm going for this week when I made all these tumblers. So I was uh, very excited about this one. It's really one of my top favorites of all the ones that I made this week. So anyways, um, so I just wrapped it all around like that. And then um, I was kind of debating on whether or not I would kind of make the design, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make a line down the back and just make it a back. You know, sometimes you just, there's just no, I don't know. I just don't want to go to, to all the trouble. And I don't, I didn't think it was that big of a deal to have uh, just a line down the back. So I did take out, I tried to take out that little piece that was underneath. So we didn't have any excess, uh, vinyl I mean yeah that's clear transparent vinyl or whatever it is uh, underneath so I did try to take that out and then um, straightened it all out after that so I did take my squeegee here and I just kind of really pushed down on all those areas all down the bottom part there too just to make sure that we didn't have any creases you really couldn't see any of those creases but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't having a bunch of that to whenever I put it under epoxy, then all you're going to have to do is have to sand all those down. So straighten them out uh, just in that sense is better than leaving them like that, even though they're not really going to show, uh, is just to kind of make sure that you're, you're not adding more work for yourself later on. So I'm going to take my Cami Page Boutique a little cutter here and I'm going to cut just that top part of the vinyl on the rim there. Now that is going to give me a real nice, just a little bit of an edge to take that vinyl off and then I can sand down that glitter and really get a good nice rim so that our final coats of epoxy can adhere to that. So here I'm switching out so that it can be a little bit higher up. So there's, they, they, she has all these levels in here so you can kind of cut the, um, the vinyl wherever you, whatever, wherever you want it to be. And so I uh, had it down pretty low to do the rim and then I brought it up to do that bottom part there so that um, <clears throat> we could take off that little chunk that was, uh, you know, there's just no way of getting that all straight on the bottom of that tumbler. So um, I just made sure that I got all of the rest, the excess of that vinyl off and um, using this cutter really makes it easy. Once again, I was just trying to make sure that there were all kinds, that there was not any wrinkles at the bottom there. So I wasn't going to have to do a lot of sanding, um, you know, just to get a good clean look on uh, the whole tumbler. So in order to go into the next steps, which I was going to be adding uh, a decal foil, I wasn't really sure exactly the plan as of this time, but I knew pretty much what I wanted to do. I just, I just kind of, I, you know, I just hadn't finalized anything yet. So, uh, cause I was still kind of in the uh, phase of like trying to come up with some more tumblers for this particular series so I just knew that this was going to be a boot and then I wanted to add some kind of decal to it and so the, at this point I'm just putting a coat of epoxy so I can go to the next step and do different things. So I organized all of my decals because I have way too many and um, I organized them in this little envelope thing um, and I have like western southern and then Mary, you know Christmas blah 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 I mean there's just like a ton and so I pulled out all of my western ones right and I have stuff in there that I've printed off that I've gotten over the years and I really I, I kind of was just really wanting something to speak to me and um that's why I was, I just wanted to kind of show y'all this process that it really is not just like, Oh, everything just comes to me. You know, I wanted to show y'all that I was kind of thinking. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to put some foil down because this has a white backing, but because it, we're kind of dealing with a darker base, I just wanted something that was going to, um, kind of bring it out a little bit more. So I decided, okay, we're going to put some foil down. So I'm going to cut this 
just to make sure that I have, you know, kind of like the idea of like how big it's going to be, right? The decal. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, okay, what foil am I going to put underneath? So I decided that there, she had sent some foil and it was a, there was like a holographic thing over the foil. And I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this foil and then that holographic over it. I thought that would be really cool and add some kind of fancy element to it, right? So here, what I'm doing is I am making sure that wherever I'm going to put the glue for the foil is just kind of marked off, right? So I was I didn't want to just like, put it all over the place but yet I didn't want to like not have enough to cover up uh, exactly where I needed to put the foil to uh, give me that room for that decal make sure all of the bits of the decal the floral uh, elements and everything were able to be on be on top of, of that distressed foil so I'm using the artistic painting studio uh, glue and I'm just kind of making a little bit of a circle, all oval type, square, whatever shape that um, I kind of let the, the tape kind of guide me to be like, okay, this is kind of the area that I want to put it in. So I did that and then I let it dry. So, well, no, sorry. I removed the tape so that that didn't dry on there. I didn't want anything else, um, you know, causing any problems. So I just took that off and then I let that dry. And as you can see here, it is clear, right? So you you cannot see it once it is fully dry. And the longer you let this glue dry, like the like for an hour or more, it will get more and more and more sticky. And so I did not necessarily wait an hour. I'm not sure how long I waited, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I don't know, but it wasn't a full hour, I know that. But I um I wasn't too concerned with it. I, I didn't care if as long as it was going to come off, as long as I was going to get a base of that foil, I didn't care if it was a little bit distressed or a little bit PC or, you know, anything like that. So it just, you know, this was not, this was, I didn't care how it really came out as long as I got a significant amount of the foil to, you know, cover the, the area that I wanted to put that decal in. So this is where I mess up, but I'm going to leave this in here because I want y'all to know um, that this maybe doesn't necessarily work or I did not let it dry long enough. So I wanted to put that holographic foil over this foil so that it could give us this real shiny kind of iridescent look to it. And I thought it would add a little bit of fanciness, right? And so um, I thought that I could put it on there and then use my heat gun and get it dried and then put it on there. So this is me putting it on there right now. So I'm trying to rub it down. I'm thinking everything's working perfect because why wouldn't it? <laughs> it's in my thought process right there. So I'm like, why wouldn't it work? You know, uh, as soon as I started peeling it up, it all it did was take the glue that I had on there and just put it on the back of that foil. So I tried it again. I thought, oh, maybe I didn't rub it hard enough or, you know, whatever. And so I tried to peel it off for a second time. And I'm thinking, okay, it's going to come off. And then no, all it did was pull that glue off of the foil. It did have a few little spots here and there where it, the foil was there, the holographic or the iridescent whatever it is that went over it so I said okay let's just put the decal on there right so okay I'm gonna put the decal on and then I will figure out how we're gonna maybe put this over on the top or maybe this will just work this this style is fine it it, it has a nice look to it so I put this on I, I decided that I was gonna see if I could get any of that foil and all it did was start coming off all that glue and everything started coming off. And so then I said, okay, well, let's just put it, let me just put it all on top of this decal. I'll just put it all around and just, we'll just get a little bit of glimpse of it, you know, around the edges and, uh, you know, the middle or whatever. And so that's how I actually kind of came across this little bit of a design was, uh, 
because by happenstance, by accident, basically. So, but I really do like it because it just adds a little something extra, just a little something that makes it a little more fancy. You know what I mean? So then after that, of course, I went in with coats of epoxy. Um, I thought about adding something else, um, you know, but I really honestly... I really thought that this just kind of spoke for itself, just have that decal and um, everything would be fine and dandy on that. So all I did was put that coat of epoxy, I went in, did some sanding, got the rim sanded up really good at the bottom, uh, anywhere there was any kind of little bit of issues or anything, and I put those that final coat of epoxy on there, and then we were done. This one really speaks to my soul as far as I, I had a really beautiful pair of boots that uh, got ruined in the flood when we flooded in Harvey. And so I've really wanted my boots back and um, I haven't got them. I mean, I haven't got a pair of boots. But anyways, um, this really brings me to the rodeo style and just Reba song and, you know, seeing Reba perform you know, seeing that tooled leather look, um, that distressed foil look, the flowers, all of it coming together really got me in the feels as far as the first video of our series here. And um, I really thought that it was going to give us that really nice, sparkly, vintagey, distressed y, you know, all that, <laughs> all those feels. Anyways, Please like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think and uh, join my Facebook group and everything's linked down below and I'll see you next time.